hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to replace audio of a video file with some other audio file in react native's new architecture for ios using av mutable composition so let's get started so here is my output so i'll click on pick video and uh, so here you can see i'll just select this particular video file then i'll click on pick audio and audio for audio i'm just uh, filtering the uh, files folder and i have this audio file i'll just select that now i will click on merge uh, and it should do the merge so yeah it has definitely changed the audio i have just muted it so that you can hear what i'm trying to say but yeah uh, it's working perfectly fine for me and i if i want i can just stop this particular video i'll click on save video and i will give full permission so that this video has been saved to the photos app as well now if i click on pick video here you can see uh, this video was saved so let's see how to do this uh, so first thing which you have to do is you will have to open this turbo module documentation because i will be copying a lot of code from this documentation once your react native app is ready you will have to open your terminal cd to the ios directory which you see over here and then you will have to run this command so this will enable the new architecture for ios then create a folder called rtn my transform inside that create a package.json file again i have copy pasted everything from docs only this name has been changed this has been changed this has been changed and this has been changed uh, then I have created a pod spec file again. I have copy pasted everything from docs and only this name has been changed Then I have created a JS folder inside that I have created a TypeScript file again copied it from docs only method names I have changed so one is called transform which will take the video URL another is called pick audio and another is called save and Here I have changed this particular name then uh, you might be seeing that create an ios folder and put everything inside it we won't be doing that because i want to make use of swift so we will be writing the entire code inside the xc workspace inside xcode so the next thing which you will have to do is open your terminal go to the root of your react native project and then run this command once you run this particular command uh, you will have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project then you will have to run this particular command so here you will have to replace rn app replace audio with your own project name as you can see my project name is rn app replace audio over here over here as well as over here then once that is done you will have to cd to the main ios directory and then run this particular command so this will do uh, code generation for our rtn my transform also you will have to install one more library called react native image picker and once you install it using yarn or npm again you will have to cd to your ios directory and run this command so this will do pod install for react native image picker okay once uh, that is done uh, you will have to open xc workspace of ios inside xcode i have already done that firstly inside info.plist you will have to add this photo library usage description permission then uh, you will have to go to rn app replace audio and here inside general tab you will for minimum deployment it should be at least 15 and uh, this ios deployment target should be also be 15 then uh, you will have to create uh, one swift file name rt and my transform xcode will ask do you want to create a bridging header click yes then create an header file again now this again comes from the turbo module docs but few things has been changed so create a header file called rt and my transform again uh, this has been copied from docs here i have imported three uh, dependency av kit uniform identifiers and mobile call services and this has been copied from docs only this name has been changed this has been changed here i have added ui document picker delegate for picking audio files and uh, here i have this audio url as well like for picking audio i couldn't find a proper library which supports new architecture that's why i've decided to write it on my own but i think by the time you watch it you might already have some library which supports audio picking as well so your choice how you want to use it then uh, create an objective c file but make sure you change the extension to dot mm which is objective c plus plus then again uh, this has been copied from docs this is our header file name this is my bridging he header file name so you have will have to change it to whatever your bridging header file name is so the, here you can see my bridging header file name is rn app replace audio so that's what i have written over here 
now again this has been copied from docs only this name has been changed here we are initializing our swift file this has been copied from docs only this name has been changed uh, here we are overriding the save method and we are calling the save method from our swift file for picking audio we are first um, going on the main thread and here we are filtering by audio type so that's what i am passing inside our document picker delegate controller sorry and we are setting the delegate as well and then we get hold of our root view controller and once we have that we just present the document picker for our audio picker so that's what this audio picker code is all about uh, okay and uh, here you can see once the user selects an audio file we come over here and i just take the first url which he has selected and assign it to our audio url variable which we have defined it inside header file for transform we are basically calling the transform uh, method from our swift file which i will show you shortly and we are also passing our audio url to it so we are passing video url as well as audio url video url we are setting it sending it from react native side audio url we already have inside our header file over here and once we have the uh, transformed video i just launch an av player view controller and uh, with the help of our root view controller start playing our video so that's what this all entire code is all about so yeah next coming back to our swift file we are basically importing av kit and photos and here we are extending ns object then i have this final url as well uh, variable once transform method is called we call av mutable composition here i have one file manager then we create a video asset we create video composition track as well as video asset track we are ignoring the audio of that particular video file then we take the video duration which we have and insert the time range based on that then we create audio asset based on the audio url which you have passed then we create an audio as composition track as well as audio asset track now here comes the tricky part so suppose if your audio is one minute long and your video is only 30 seconds long so what you want to do do you want to still make your video one minute long like most people would want their video to be 30 seconds long even if the audio file is more than that that's why if you see over here for inserting the time range inside our audio composition track i am passing the video duration but if you still want audio duration to be same you can just uncomment this particular code and pass audio compo audio duration over here but what if audio duration is less than video duration then uh, your video would get cut so again otherwise what you can do is you can compare this audio duration with this video duration and depending on what is bigger you can use appropriate values so it depends on you how you want to do, uh, like go ahead then i have created an export path and export url if file already exists i'm removing that file i have created an av asset export session i have assigned it to our output url output file type is mp4 should optimize for network usage true and then here we are exporting it final url i have assigned it, assigned it to export session dot output url and if you see the save method if final url is not equal to nil then we call request authorization method which i have defined over here which basically asks for the photos app permission and once the permission is granted then we call perform changes and we call create request for asset from video and if it is success then only we save the video otherwise we save say error saving the video so i think that's it now coming back to our react native application so here i have imported these two libraries which we have and here i have created so we don't require this sorry and here i have one uh, video uri variable once pick video is called from this button we basically filter by videos and once the uh, once uh, we have uh, like once the user selects a uri we just uh, assign it to our video uri variable and here on second button press we call the pick audio method which we have defined it inside our objective c plus plus file and here we are calling transform method where we are passing our video uri audio uri we already have it on the uh, native side and on large button press we are just calling the save uh, method so yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching bye